Hello YouTube, welcome back to Darth Nico Games, and welcome back to the road to 6000 VR using only the spear. So, uh, I don't really know what VR level we've left off at. Uh, it's gonna connect real quick. Okay, so 5,269 VR. We are more than a quarter of the way there. So yeah, that's great. Let's uh, let's get into it because I can't think of creative things to say. So uh, actually, one thing that I would like to say though is I will be using Funky Kong right now because uh, one of my friends uh, on YouTube, Trevor R S O five, yeah, I think that's his name. He created just today, as of this recording, just today. A, I think it's called a Blue Galaxy Funky Kong texture that I will be using and showing off for you guys. So yeah. So yeah, if you want to see some uh, Mario Kart, even though there's tons of other videos that you can watch to see some Mario Kart, if you want to see me do it for some reason, then stick with me. Boom! Alrighty, wow. Seriously low VR people. Alright, they should be uh, really easy to beat. Let's pick up Big Express City, because that, uh, that one's a spear course anyway. I think the world record is spear on that anyway, so we should be able to thrive. Uh, let's not do Desktop Dash or Crossing Bill, because those are... Uh, I would get slaughtered there. <laughs> you know, I'm up for a challenge. You know, If they want to pick Desktop Dash, then we'll do Desktop Dash. You know, I'm up for a challenge. Here we got Lost Fortress. That's cool. That's cool. Alrighty. Let's do this. 100cc. I'm pretty sure that uh, helps me turn just a little better. So yeah. Nice. Uh, I love the new textures for Lost Fortress. Like, they're not they're not that new. But, you know, I, I love them just the same. And please don't die. Okay, I didn't die. Oh, I just realized that the texture only works for uh, Funky Kong on a Flame Hunter. Sorry, Trevor. I uh, I actually may have cut out the part originally where I was talking about it, about how I was going to use the texture, because it wouldn't make sense to keep it in, because I'm not actually using the texture. So yeah, I said that I was going to use your uh, use Trevor's uh, Blue Galaxy texture. But I'm not, because it only works for Flame Runner, and this is a spear only challenge. So I'm sorry. I thought it would just I thought it would just work for fucking Kong, any vehicle. But I was gravely mistaken. All right, lack of mobi mobility, no problem here. Just kind of front running, you know. Just I'm just chilling, you know. Also, let me just say that on my uh, regular license. I have dipped from like 8,400 VR to almost in the 6,000 range. Like that's using my main, like that's like that's using top tier vehicles. Like I stink. Why do I stink so much? Man, I stink a lot. All right, whatever. There's no time to worry about other licenses. All that matters is the spear and getting 6,000 VR with it. I find that it's so much safer to not trick there, so I don't. Even even without the spear, you know, it doesn't save much time if you're tricking. And, uh, you can basically get, get a lead like what I've got right here without tricking. Oops. Well, that's nice. There's a nice long drop. It occurs to me that I'm wearing sun- I don't normally wear sunglasses while I race on Mario Kart. It occurs to me that I should probably raise the brightness on my TV so that I can see better, but, you know. It's part of the challenge, you know, is not really being able to see. You know, uh, Wrath, he's, uh, one of the- he doesn't really make videos anymore, I think. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he makes any more videos, but he did one time a series of him racing blindfolded. And... From what I can remember, he still did really well, because he was like one of the all-time legends of Mario Kart. The myth, the myths of old, you know? I'm just gonna throw that, because why not? 
I don't think I... I doubt that I'll have to lay very many traps to win. Oh gosh. And... Eh, never, <laughs> never know. I may have to start laying those traps. Because that's, uh... Just gonna... Just gonna get cocky and then, you know, fall right off. That's how it works. Oh, and then twice. Alright. I'm so good at this game. Oh, nice. That worked. <laughs> I'll take that. Oh, gosh. Yay. Another blue shell. So, I'll, uh... My uh, lead has been cut in half, but uh, I'm still pretty doubtlessly going to win this race. I would say. I would say. I don't know. Let's do something fun right here. Oh, I wanted to land on that circle thing, and then I could have done, done a fun thing. But, you know, we don't care about fun things. This is Mario Kart. There's no fun in Mario Kart. Only seriousness. So yeah, easy first place. Uh, it's a good way to start off the day. You know, Lost Fortress. Get that first place. Got 47 VR. It's nice. one guy that looks like a hamburger I've seen like uh, it kind of went viral probably like over 8 million views or something uh, a tutorial of how to make your me look like a hamburger so he probably followed that tutorial it kind of looks funny but I mean I don't know the skill level of these people they're kind of racing like hamburgers no offense if you're watching this but uh yeah Actually, actually, cut that last part out. I don't want to offend any viewers. And then, of course, I won't have cut that part out because... Because it's funny when people say cut that part out and they don't. Alright, anyway, Desktop Dash. This is going to be interesting. I wonder if I'm actually... Because, like, I crushed these guys so much in the last race. I wonder if I'm actually going to win on this. I don't know, because I have no turns. Uh, make it. All right, made it. Sweet. Oh gosh, I can barely trick. I want to see if I can get this part right here. Oh yeah, easy. All right, that's cool. That's the advantage of having the spear, because when you use Daisy, you kind of. I don't think you can make that cut on 100 CC. Wow, that was. So yeah, looks like I'll be front running it again a little bit. Woo! The lines I do not have, but that's okay. You know, I'm gonna take this super wide so I can uh, get right up on here. Yes. Nice. Looking pretty sharp. Oh gosh. They're catching up to me. Wow. Oh wow. Now they're really gonna catch up to me. That was that was actually legit super pathetic. And then this is the boost. What am I doing actually? I don't know. Oh. Oh my gosh! The glitchy save! Oh ah! Oh. I was hoping that I wouldn't have to hit any walls. But I had to hit walls. So yeah, there's the uh there's his uh, galaxy funky blue galaxy funky blue uh, Mario galaxy super Luigi Bros uh, texture for you there. I'm gonna stay kind of close so that you can look at it, and then I'm gonna box that. Oh, maybe I'll have to box back. Him. Watch, I'm gonna get him right here. Out of the U turn. Right there. Oh, just missed. Come on, man. Alright. I gotta make this for the win. Yeah! Let's go. Let's go. That's skills right there. We have the maddest skills. The most skills. Alrighty. That's a good win. Thank you guys for watching. 
I uh, hope you like the video. If you like the video, then like the video. And I will see you next time. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Now, before I get into the verse of the week, I just wanted to say that this episode was actually not edited by me. It was edited by uh, someone else, uh, just a kid who goes to my uh, homeschool co-op. And uh, yeah, so big thanks to him. Um, let me know if you guys want to see more of that editing style. I think that he did a great job. So yeah, again, huge thanks to him. And yeah, as of right now, I think that he's going to be uh, editing episodes 5 and 6. That's not a guarantee, but I imagine that he will be doing that. So yeah, if you like this style, make sure to uh, look for those two episodes. Today's verse of the week is 2 Corinthians 5.17. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, and the new has come. Have you ever wished that you could just have a do-over? You know, sometimes when you make a mistake, you wish that you could just start again, you know, start anew. Well, a life in Christ is that opportunity. It's a way for you to start anew. When you become a Christian, you are totally a new creation. And that's an amazing, amazing gift from God. For those of us who have actually been a Christian for a while, there is still wisdom in this verse that we can find. What I get from this verse is I feel like it's telling us that when someone we know becomes a Christian, even though they may have made mistakes in the past, when they belong to Christ, forget about them. Forget about those mistakes. The old has gone and let the new come, and let them have their new beginning. I hope this verse lifted you up. Have a great week!